welcome to the closet. Yes, so I figured with New Year's Eve just a couple days away that we should do a top five New Year's Eve outfits. So I'm gonna dig into my closet and I'm going to try to find five different outfits that I might be willing to wear to go to a New Year's Eve event. Not that I'm probably gonna go anywhere. <laughs> because, you know, for years I've told you I think New Year's Eve is for the newbies. I say newbies. I'm, I'm talking about people that have never really been out to celebrate New Year's before and they think it's all about, ooh, let's go to a bar, let's get drunk, let's like bring in the new year. Well, that's not my idea. Maybe somewhere in my life I did that. <laughs> <laughs> as I think we all have, but I've much more figured out that New Year's to me is all about just being around people you care about, but waking up on New Year's Day, having a clear mind with a clear idea of the clear path that I want to take in 2023. I know some of you are like, oh, I can figure that out the next day. New Year's Eve just has to be all about partying. And I'm like, okay, well, that's for you. And so be it if that's what you want to do. But for me, it's all about just, and like I said, I, I've done that in the past. Um, the country club used to do New Year's Eve events um, where we would all get dressed up and go and ring in the new year. And that was kind of fun. But once again, I, I kind of learned that the next day, don't feel good. Usually, I don't want to say have a hangover, but usually don't feel good the next day. Usually you want to sleep in extremely late. So then New Year's Day, you've slept away half the day. Um, and it just, it, it kind of seemed like New Year's became a waste. Like New Year's Day just became a waste. Like it was a recovery day. And you're like, oh, that's okay. I, and so be it, you know, to each his own. But I've learned as the older I've gotten, that on New Year's Day, I would rather wake up feeling good, not having to sleep half my day away, and just, just roaring into 2023 with my new vision, my new vision board, and everything that I want 2023 to have happen. So anyways, let's get on with the fashion in the closet today. We're gonna to try to put together five different outfits that I would wear to a New Year's Eve event, depending on where the New Year's Eve event was. So first of all, we're gonna start off with that, uh, remember that green Gucci purse? Mm-hmm. Well, we found the green and black high heel boots that we like that went with that. So we're gonna start off with that one because we're gonna go, we're gonna say, oh, I wanna go to a friend's house for a New Year's Eve party. So you don't wanna go dressed in blue jeans and looking all nasty, but you don't feel like you need to have an evening gown on. So we're gonna start off with that outfit, um, which is something I would wear to a friend's house for New Year's Eve. So let's get on with that. So what do you think? I'm in love with those shoes. My goodness. Look at the shoes. Okay, we got a cute jacket on. Jose Sanchez jacket. Yes, yes, yes. We got Alpen Rock leggings on. I love this company. Alpen Rock. Love, love, love this company. And look, we just happen to have these boots in the closet that just happens to go with the purse. And it's like a meant to be. It was a meant to be. So this is what I would want to wear to a friend's house or just maybe even to a bar. You know, if you were just going to a bar, like, God forbid, you just go to a bar. But I'm just like, if you just go to a, your neighborhood bar and you want to hang out for New Year's or whatever, this would be something I'd wear. It's kind of dressy. It's kind of casual. It's not over the top. It's not an evening gown. It's not really sparkly. But, you know, you're, you're bringing in the New Year. I just love how the shoes just, shoes in the purse. I love it. Cute. Cute. And I'm in love with that jacket, by the way. You can get one from Jose Sanchez. You know, he was one of the designers at my Fashion Woodlands event. I might have to ask him. 
they're cute, cute jackets. And they're light. I like th that they're light leather. It's not some heavy leather jacket. It's a really light leather jacket. So, I mean, you could get away with wearing it in the summertime on a cool evening. I mean, they're that light. It's that light. You know, you all, you've all seen my leather stuff that I get from Jose. Very light leather. So, anyways, on to the next outfit. Okay. Now let's say we're going to a big New Year's Eve ball, like in a ballroom where you need to wear an evening gown. Yes. So don't, don't mind the white. Like I haven't had a spray tan in months, seriously. Um, so we're going to do this gown. Mind you, I bought this gown when I was bigger. So you can clearly see it's way too big. So we would probably have to have Maria do some alterations so that it fit better because it's like way too big. It's got side cutouts. So just imagine if I had a spray tan, how cute this might look. <laughs> and then of course it's got the big slit in the front. Pretty sparkle YSL purse. But I mean like cute. This would, this would be something I could, pro and then I've got these really cute Mew Mews on. So you can clearly see in the back, got the sparkle going on. Not that anybody's really gonna see much of the heel because the dress is long and it kind of trails behind you a little bit. So nobody would really see. But anyways, little alterations and this thing would be ready to go. But I'm not going anywhere to a ball or anything like that. So it does not matter. But this is choice number two if you're going somewhere extremely dressy and indeed to look really, really sparkly and pretty. So let's go see the next outfit. Okay, we're just full of sparkles. <laughs> I love sparkles. Although I'm glad to get, all, get rid of all the sparkles and the glitter in the Christmas decorations, but I'm loving this outfit. So you've probably seen me wear this outfit a couple times over the years because I think a couple Christmases ago, this was one of my Christmas changes uh, at the party. I think it was at the influencer party. I think at the influencer party 2019, I think I changed five times that night. But I think this was one, this might have been, I think I started out with that maroon red two-piece Lafayette suit. Then I think I changed into this outfit. Then I think I changed into a long gown with black and gold and glitter everywhere. Then I think I changed into that nude. I don't know. I, I, I must have had four or five costume changes that night, but it was fun. I think this was one of them anyways. But anyways, so this is what we're going to wear. Isn't it cute that I have a bag that just... It was like meant to be again. Meant to be. You know, it's kind of fun when you, you just stuff in your closet goes together, right? So anyways, cute little outfit. Very sparkly. Very cute. You could wear it just about anywhere. And then look at the shoes. Do you remember me talking about these shoes? These are the protege that I showed a couple videos ago. I think it was last Friday's video actually, uh, where I'd gotten them and they're supposed to be the world's most comfortable shoe. Well, guess what? I think they're right. I'm, I'm, I'm just like, I think I need to order these in black now because these are so comfortable. Like they've got so much cushion like I can hardly tell that I even have them on. Like, I'm like, wow, I, I think I need to order another pair. Like maybe, maybe even another nude pair and definitely a black pair just to have because I can see me wearing these out. I can see me wearing them so much, I'm gonna wear them out because they're so comfortable. That color actually complements you very well. Nice. Nice. Well, the, the whole outfit. Oh yeah. Nice. Skin color, hair color. Nice. Got the matching clutch. So cute. Hello. Yeah. Gonna have to have Maria take this in because it's too big now. So yay. Yay. But anyways, cute, cute, cute. Where would you wear that one to? Anywhere. I wouldn't even hesitate if I wanted to wear this to my girlfriend's house for New Year's because it's, it's not an evening gown, but it's cute and it's sparkly, but it's not over the top. But you could wear it to a gala, you could wear it to a, a ball, you could wear it to a neighbor's party, 
I, I wouldn't be afraid to wear it anywhere. I, I could just wear it anywhere. Now remember the first outfit, you're kind of not dressed up super good. So that would definitely be to a local pub or a friend's house. But this one, I would not hesitate. Depending on what kind of jewelry I put with it, I could wear it to any event, anywhere, anytime. So on to the next one. What do you think? I think it's stunning. Mm-hmm, cute. So, once again, don't mind the no spray tan. I'm very, very white. Um, but, once again, going to a New Year's Eve ball, New Year's Eve gala, New Year's Eve at the country club, somewhere very classy that you need to be dressed up, this is it. I'm falling out of it. Remember, guys, some of these outfits I had when I weighed more. <laughs> So might have to be getting some of this stuff taken in. But anyways, putting a simple, cute little purse with it, non, very non-expensive, just a cute little clutch, but very cute, has quite a little train to it. Can't get it straightened out. Anyways, I'm stepping on it. Anyways, there's a little, little, there's train to it. But anyways, I would probably want to wear my hair up for this one. I don't think I'd wear my hair down. I think I would totally wear it up. I need to do some alterations. I've put some black Michael Kors with this dress. Got a little sparkle in the back. Not that anybody's really going to see it, but these are extremely high heels and the dress is still extremely long. So we're going to have to get Maria to the rescue to alter it. But anyways, very cute gala dress, very cute New Year's Eve dress. Can you see a little New Year's Eve hat with a blow horn? celebrating New Year's. Very, very cute. Very inexpensive. I have really not shown you anything overly expensive yet. Everything I've pulled um, has been moderately priced. Anywhere from like uh, the Alpenrock. I can't even remember how much those were. Maybe $199 a pair of pants. Um, I'm thinking um, some of the shoes are a little more expensive, but the outfits were all, I mean like the, the black glitter dress still had the price tag on it from Nordstrom's. I think it was on sale for, what, $438 or something like that? Yes. Um, like I said, I'm showing you, the Gucci purse was probably the most expensive thing uh, so far that I've showed you in any of these pictures of any of these outfits. Like, so I'm just saying, I'm not showing you anything overly expensive. Um, the Mexico jacket, under $2,000, which is considered more expensive, along with the Gucci purse. But otherwise, the, the outfits themselves um, are not overly expensive. They're moderately priced. So I think anybody could afford to be glamorous and glittery and cute for New Year's without breaking the bank. So anyways, this was look number four. Are yes. we on four? Yeah, number four. Ooh, we got one left, number five. Let's see what it is. And to close out the evening, cute. I'm telling you that color, like, good color. Complements you, com complements you very well. With no tan. Literally, with no tan. Hmm. Hmm. I think this is the whitest I've ever been in my entire life, because in the younger years, I suntan bed all the time, or get a natural tan all the time. But then after I had my skin cancer, it became spray tan all the time. This is the longest I've ever gone without getting a spray tan or doing anything for color. Like, I've tried to embrace my natural skin tone, <laughs> which is very white. <laughs> ah, but anyways, here we are. Last outfit, very glittery. Once again, might need to have, be hemmed. But um, doing this cute little Dior bag. Cute, cute. It's the right color. You can always take the strap off so it's not dangling. So you just have this cute little bag, cute little bag, cute. So once again, I've lost weight. So we've got some gapiosis going on. So we're gonna need Maria to do some alterations to make this not so gappy gappy and to hem it at the bottom. But cute outfit, right? I love that one. Very cute, very cute. Makes me wonder how, when I weighed more, 
how I wore these outfits. Because it wasn't like I lost just 10 pounds. You know, it's, it's like if you lose 10 pounds, you're like, oh yeah, I can still wear that outfit. Because, you know, but I've lost more than 30 pounds. So when you're like losing 30 pounds, you're like, how did this outfit wear or fit 30 pounds heavier? Yeah, but I, I still think you like embraced it and rocked it. I did, but I, I guess I was just solid, you know? I don't know. Like, but so cute, so cute, so cute. So guys, what we have done here today is we have literally taken you into my closet, into my wardrobe, and we have tried to discuss with you um, ways to look amazing for New Year's without breaking the bank. I literally pulled outfits that I have gotten off of just no-name websites that you know, you know when you're shopping late at night and websites just come up and go, oh, you might be interested in this. And you're like, okay, let me look. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah. And they're all very inexpensive. Like I cannot even remember what website I was on when I ordered this one, the other sparkly jumpsuit. There was, there was like, I remember that I remember when I placed the order, it was like three or four sparkly outfits that I got, and they were all like two, three hundred dollars a piece. It was just, they, it was so inexpensive, and it was just some no-name website. And I wasn't sure if they were going to fit me, but I was like, hey, I'm not spending that much money. I hope it fits me. And they came in, and they fit me, or I got them altered a little bit. No big deal. Like I said, the the key to having things fit amazing, regardless of what price point you're at is to have an alterations lady that can make it fit to your body so it looks like you spent lots and lots of money without spending lots and lots of money. So anyways, we hope you enjoyed today's video. So you guessed it, it is that time of the video to announce the winners. This is the last week of the winners. Can you believe that? We have had four weeks of winners. Amazing. And we did a live the other night where we gave away like three, $300, $100 to three different people because we did random questions. My nose is running, sorry. Uh, we did random questions that people were able to answer and win money. So we have given away, by the time I announce these two winners, we will have given away $1,300 to people for Christmas. Isn't that amazing? The month of giving. Yay! So, anyways, drum roll please. We are announcing the last two winners of December, and they are going to be Catherine Montoya. Holy criminellies, she has been a Peeps Club member for 24 months, two years. Congratulations, Catherine Montoya. Oh my gosh, you have been a Peeps member for two years already. Good God. Congratulations on winning your $500. And the next winner is Chris Schoen, S-C-H-O-E-N. And they have been a Hey Peeps member for 11 months. Interesting. Congratulations, Chris. So those are our last two winners when it comes to the money that we have given away in the month of December, the, the month of giving. So excited. So if you don't remember, guys, we have three different levels of Peeps Club. You have the Hey Peeps, you have the Peeps Club, and then you've got the VI Peeps. And so you've got three different levels that you can be on, and each level gets different things and receives different things. And so congratulations, congratulations. So with that said, I hope you have enjoyed, sorry, I got my charger. My phone is always dead, I swear. With that said, um, we have had a fun, fun month giving away money this month, and so we're going to come up with something spectacular in the month of January um, to do a giveaway. Don't know if it's gonna be a luxury bag yet, or gift cards, or money again, or something even more spectacular. Don't know yet, so stay tuned for the month of January because we're gonna be doing some different stuff. And we're gonna be doing some different stuff for different levels. So if you are a Hey Peeps member, which is the 99 cents a uh, month, um, you're gonna get certain things next month. If you're a 4.99er, which is the Hey Peeps Club, you're gonna get different things. And then of course, if you're a VIP Peeps, you're gonna get even more amazing things. So stay tuned for that too, because we are going to break it down to where each level you get something 
different. Yeah. So it'll be interesting. Like maybe the 20, maybe, maybe, maybe the, the Hey Peeps Club will do $25 giveaways. And then maybe the Peeps Club will amp it up to $50 or more giveaways. And then if you're a VI Peeps, maybe it'll be 250 or 500. I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? So it'll be interesting to, depending on which level you are at, at as far as the Hey Peeps memberships um, will depend on what amount of monies you can possibly win. So I hope you guys all have an amazing New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I want you to stay safe. I don't want you to get out there and act like idiots and get into trouble because that's not what New Year's Eve is all about. New Year's is all about ushering in the new. So don't be bringing all that old stuff into the new year, guys. Just leave it, leave it in 2022 and start fresh and clean with 2023. So be safe. If it means staying at home and drinking so that you're safe, hallelujah, because you're never alone on New Year's Eve, really. I mean, between the Rock and Eve thing in New York City, watching the ball drop and watching it turn New Year's Eve on all these in all these other different countries way ahead of our schedule. I mean, I remember when I used to be a babysitter, I was like 13, 14. And kind of you're really all alone on New Year's because if you're babysitting younger kids, I always babysat kids that were like two years old, one years old, five years old. They all had to be into bed by a certain time, right? And back then we didn't have cell phones. We didn't have social media. So guess what? New Year's Eve was kind of boring as a babysitter because by the time you put the kids to bed and then cleaned up everything and straightened the house up, you were literally sitting there with a TV by yourself watching New Year's Eve come in because there were no cell phones. We didn't have social media. So unless you could talk to somebody on the phone and remember their phone number, but at that time, all your other friends were babysitting or in bed by then. So you got to think back, you know, you're like, oh gosh, it's so sad. I'm all alone. But it's like, I can remember as a kid and a teenager being alone a lot. I don't even think kids today know how to be alone. Seriously. And then when they are alone, they're just like, ah, I'm alone. I'm letting all these crazy thoughts get into my head. And, you know, it's just, it's weird. But back in my day when we had, we were alone. We didn't have social media. We didn't have phones. We didn't have iPads. We didn't have all that crap to just keep us so entertained. We had to entertain ourselves. So it's, it's just interesting. Food for thought there. Anyways, happy new year. Stay safe. Usher in the new year with amazing new freshness. Don't drag 2022 in with 2023. 2023 deserves its own special year and a fresh, clean slate. So with that said, guys, happy new year, and I'll see you in 2023. Bye-bye.